get it. And we'll hit the tap. Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. We are now starting a series of turning pro wrestling holds into real submissions. Ibi here is to help me out. Is here to help me out. And today we are covering the the Anaconda Vice, made famous by CM Punk. Okay, so let's do the work uh, version first. We have the grips here, and I'm not sitting on him directly. I'm just here sitting by the side. I grip his wrist, I grip mine, my one arm's around the back of his head, and all I do to make it a little powerful is just crank up. Yeah? Ah, ah, ah. It's that simple. And as we know in pro wrestling, it's easy just to get into this whole position and then just start working, working, making it look powerful. Ah. And that's it. Now let's get to the meat of the matter, the actual shoot. Okay, so as you can see, we were in that scarf hole position or head and arm ride. Um, to be honest, I've been watching the Josh Barnett DVD. It is, catch wrestling is sweet. All right, so this pinning position, okay, it is very rough, all right? So whenever the gap here between the, the head and arm is open, you go for it around getting your underhook around the head, you lift up the tricep and immediately sit on your part. all right? So the control aspect of this position is very important because as you can see here, I am gripping my own leg, all right? And as you can see, I'm spraying my legs in a 90 degree angle as much as possible. My head's as close to his as possible. I'm controlling the, this arm. Two things, all right? Maintenance is important. If he can get this tricep to the ground, okay, here, I need to secure that tricep and get it back. The other thing is, all right, he might clamp his hands together and try and turn me over. Okay, big problem. But as you can see, I step over. If I can, I grip my own hand, but rather secure control here, base out if you have to, step wide, kick through again. Lastly, all right, it's his hands pushing, all right? If he pushes my face with that free hand, I need to address that, all right? Because if he pushes that hand far back, enough where I'm here, where he can start using his legs to grip my head, We've got an issue. Okay, securing this position is the most important part. Okay, cool. Just like anything else when it comes to grappling, all right, there is a lot of maintenance and there's a lot of grip fighting, okay? Uh, just like you're passing someone's guard, just like you have them in side control, the battle's not done. Right? Or the battle's different, the war's still going on. So you just want to secure the position and win those battles. Alright, before you proceed. Okay? Um, if you know anything about grappling, uh, Josh Barnett uh, tapped Dean Lister in this position using the, the chest compression, which is a form of choke where you like restrict the lungs from getting oxygen in because it restricts the diaphragm. It, it really sucks, all right? But that's not what we're focused on today, okay? Because, you know, the frame of the person, like, I could probably do it to Ibrahim and finish him here. I mean, when he taps, it will take a while, but if I want to get it more secure, I can get it here and work it. Oh, that, that one taps quickly. All right, so I'm getting his chin to his chest and I'm compressing. It's possible from here, but um, unfortunately, not everybody has the body type for this to work, all right? If, especially if you're a lighter person facing a, a big chested guy, like the chances are that it's gonna work and you're gonna get the tap from there, not gonna happen, but you are gonna make them tired, all right? And if we make them tired, they don't have energy, 
and now we can proceed to fight, okay? So, here's the thing. I can do a skull fold on ball from here, all right? But we're gonna assume that this guy actually knows something, right? So if I go for this, he's gonna turn his arm away. And that gives his wrist to my hand, right? Now, as you can see here, I'm trying to grip as much to the thumb as possible, if I can, get that grip, all right? Or that is fine. And I twist, okay? He already doesn't like that. I wanna create as much hip impingement in the shoulder as possible. This hand comes through, I grab my own wrist like before. Now, instead of driving up and working, okay, I'm going to pull that wrist away. Okay, so once again, I pull this wrist away. So I have a form of Americana on his shoulder. I'm creating a shoulder impingement and I get the suck. This is all connected. So as soon as I get that, I remove the slack by uh, doing my motorcycle grip, I grab my own wrist, and then I proceed to get the impingement. I sit on him to pin him down and secure, and finish. And that is how you apply the anaconda vice, for real. Here, just one more time, boom, slide through, pause it, get my motorcycle grip, get it, and take the time. Okay guys, thank you very much for tuning into this YouTube video, and forgive us for wearing shoes on the mats, this is a pro wrestling ring after all, and we just had a pro wrestling session. So there's my excuse. Screw y'all and your no shoes on mat etiquette. This is a pro wrestling ring. I can wear shoes in here if I want. It's clean though. All right, so if you want more videos like this, please give me suggestions down in the comment section below on which pro wrestling hold you would like to see a shoot version of. So guys, until next time, take care. Peace out.